technology has become an integral part of our lives. Our favorite sports, football, has also not been able to keep itself away from the same. However, since there are many football leagues in the world, so are their preferences in using tech. In this video, we'll be looking into five latest technologies, which are being used in 2022 FIFA World Cup in Qatar. Number 1. Goal Ref Goal Ref is an assisting goal line technology system, developed by German Research Institute Fraunhofer, in association with Select Sport. The Goal Ref system relies on the principle of electromagnetic induction. A low frequency magnetic field is generated around the goal, which is monitored by coils installed in the goal posts and crossbar. The ball is fitted with a passive electronic circuit embedded between the leather outer and inflatable inner layers. A software monitors the condition of the magnetic field in the goal to detect the change that occurs in it due to the passage of the coils in the ball over the line. Once detected, the system sends a real-time encrypted radio signal to a smartwatch worn by the referee. Smartwatch both vibrates and displays a message that a goal was scored. Goal ref was first tested in the Danish Superliga for some games and then later was used in 2012 FIFA Club World Cup for the first time in an international event. Number 2. Hawkeye Hawkeye is a computer vision system used in numerous sports such as cricket, tennis, badminton, hurling, rugby union, football, and volleyball. It is used to visually track the trajectory of the ball and display a profile of its statistically most likely path as a moving image. The on-screen representation of the trajectory result is called a shot spot. Hawkeye system is owned by Japanese company Sony, but was developed in the United Kingdom by Paul Hawkins. The system was originally implemented in 2000 for television purposes in cricket. The system works via six or seven high-performance cameras, normally positioned on the underside of the stadium roof, which track the ball from different angles. The video from the six cameras is then triangulated and combined to create a three-dimensional representation of the ball's trajectory. Hawkeye is not infallible but is advertised to be accurate to within 3.6 millimeters. In football, it was first adopted by English Premier League in 2013-14 season, and next year by Bundesliga in 2014-15 season. Number 3. Electronic Performance and Tracking Systems, EPTS EPTS are used to control and improve player and team performance by using special cameras and wearable gadgets. It is primarily used to track player and ball positions. Wearable gadgets contain microelectromechanical sensors like accelerometers, gyroscopes, and heart rate monitors to measure physical and physiological parameters. Each team usually have three EPTS devices. One is for an analyst in the stands, another for an analyst on the bench, and a third for the medical team. Optical tracking cameras are used to monitor the players and the ball and provide feedback. The information from EPTS is then feed into highly sophisticated algorithms. The output result helps team analysts and medical team to assess players and team's performance, which subsequently help plan for future matches. Number 4. Video Assistant Referee or VAR VAR is a match official in football who reviews decisions made by the referee. The Assistant Video Assistant Referee, AVAR, is a current or former referee appointed to assist the VAR in the video operation room. The responsibilities of the AVAR include watching the live action on the field while the VAR is undertaking a check or a review to keep a record of reviewable incidents and to communicate the outcome of a review to broadcasters. Following extensive trials in several major football competitions, VAR was formally written into the laws of the game by the International Football Association Board, IFAB, on March 3, 2018. Operating under the philosophy of minimal interference, maximum benefit, the VAR system seeks to provide a way for clear and obvious errors and serious missed incidents to be corrected. There are four categories of decisions that can be reviewed by VAR. Goal or no goal. Penalty or no penalty. Direct red card. Mistaken identity in awarding a red or yellow card. 
VAR can also suggest an on-field review, OFR, when they want the final decision to be made by the on-field referee. Number 5. Goal Line Technology Goal Line Technology, or GLT, is referred to the use of electronic aid to determine if a goal has been scored or not. In detail, it is a method used to determine when the ball has completely crossed the goal line, with the assistance of special electronic sensors and cameras. The objective of GLT is not to replace the role of the referee officials, but rather to support them in their decision-making. GLT must provide a clear indication as to whether the ball has fully crossed the line, and this information will serve to assist the referee in making their final decision. Compared to similar technology in other sports, GLT is a relatively recent addition to football. Its integration has been opposed by many sports authorities. In July 2012, the International Football Association Board, IFAB, officially approved the use of GLT, amending the laws to permit but not mandate its use. Due to its high expense, GLT is only used at the highest levels of the game. At present, GLT is only being used in top European domestic leagues and at major international competitions such as FIFA World Cup. With technology everywhere, football has become an even more interesting game. With microchips and sensors installed in the ball, goalpost and the pitch, it has become very easy for referee to make sure that correct decision is made. Highly sophisticated cameras and even more sophisticated softwares make sure that even millimeters of margins are not left undetected. What are your views on the use of technology in football? Do let us know in the comments section. If you enjoyed our content, do like this video, and if you're new to our channel, do subscribe to our channel Curious.